We drop two million pieces of chewing gum a year. Once chewing gum is on the street, it will stay there forever. Unless councils use expensive and cumbersome equipment like this to remove it. It's estimated councils spend £60 million a year cleaning up gum. But there is an ingenious solution, one that could not only rid us of this unsightly menace, but could actually turn it into something useful. Chewing gum is basically a plastic, which is why it's so hard to remove. And chemist Dr Sheng Fu Yang wants to show me just how tough it is with the help of a blowtorch. It looks like lava, isn't it? It does look like lava. This stuff is indestructible. The molecules that make gum so stubborn are called polyisobutylene. This man-made compound has the strength and durability of plastic and the flexibility of rubber. It's much tougher than natural materials. These molecules are flexible and they can bend, they can stress, but it's not easy to break them down into small pieces. That didn't deter designer Anna Bullis. While doing a research project into curbside litters, she had the idea of using indestructible chewing gum to make everyday products. I was looking at the different litters that we find on our streets and I could pretty much find an initiative for most of the other litters apart from gum litter and I couldn't find anything to do with recycling gum. Anna self-funded a new business and started collecting lots of chewing gum. And you can see all of the chewing gum in there and then we add our secret ingredients to this. How secret is it? It's very secret. I wouldn't be able to tell you. The secret ingredient transforms dirty old gum into a material which can be moulded like other plastics. This then goes through a heated process. What we then create is what we call the compound, and this is actually what we use oh. to then manufacture. This process allows Anna to make new products from recycled plastics, at least 20% of which will be chewing gum. Brett's just got the pellets. He's going to pour it into the hopper okay. there. So what happens is the pellets drop down and it's heated. She's even using the material to create bins. The idea is that when people see these, they just put their chewing gum into one of these gumdrop bins and we can then recycle back into the bins themselves. So it's a virtuous circle. Put gum in bin, recycle gum and bin, then make even more bins from the recycled gum. And they can now be found in over 550 locations all over the country. Anna has already started using gum as the basis of other everyday products. 42 pieces of gum went into creating this coffee cup. But would you put someone else's gum in your mouth? All of the gum that we recycle goes through such high temperatures through our process that it's all perfectly safe. There will always be some people who are squeamish about drinking from a cup made from used chewing gum. I'm not one of them. We need to stop using so much virgin plastic and make stuff from waste materials. So I think this is a clever solution to a very sticky problem.